Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to the Library of Ruin. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum. Alrighty, as promised, the mod that I keep teasing uh, repeatedly without meaning to, the City of Drama. Oh boy, are these all gonna have stories? Oh boy, alright. <coughs> <coughs> Should have gotten my voice a little bit more ready than what I did. Okay, Katarina. It's kind of a Gabura thing going on here. Real, real tough girl. Um, well. <laughs> oh, man. I can already see all three of my girl voices um, already going to use. One of them just being my own voice. Anyway, here. It's finally open. I'm sorry it took so long. The lock didn't break well. It's okay. You did a great job, right? Yeah. Let's, uh, why did I say it like that? Let's block the door. It'll be a problem if the intruders come. The guys in the blue coats who have been chasing us lately? Yeah. The guys with the long, big swords. You lost a lot of friends to them, didn't you? Then let's make up for it here. Because there are so many bad people in the city. Still, as more and more good people like us, I'm sure things would eventually get a little better. I think so, too. So do I. I guess we're actually the same person, aren't we? Yeah, yes. I'm Katarina, and you are Caitlin. I thought of different names for us so we could be distinguished. I mean, if everyone... No. If ev if ev yeah, if every one of us is Catherine, it's going to be hard for us to recognize each other, you see. I'm sure that was my idea. No. Is it our idea? Yes, yes. We'll talk about it later. Now, let's get to the bodies. Does District 23 have any rules for keeping the bodies clean like this? I made a lot of friends around here, but I still find it weird every time I see it. Same goes for keeping them in a cold place so they don't rot. This is the little girl. Still, if, if it's not this kind of place, you'd have to spend a lot of corpses just to get more friends. Or get more Catherines? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's my prediction. Remember what happened last time? You ended up using... You... Ah, you ended up using 13 bodies just to make one friend. I'm so glad I found this place, though. The corpses we got here are comfortable because we don't need to weave the vines. And our friends are very flexible, too. That's a relief. Now, let's get it. Katarina, can you help me because you're taller? Oh! Oops. All right, all right. Even though we are all the same friends, I'm still the strongest, so I'll help as much as I want. Hehe. <laughs> I hope we can make good friends again this time. They will definitely be good friends this time too after all aren't we all the same ha <laughs> ha i called it oh it's a bit noisy outside my friends are waiting outside there are two people blocking the door in here so it'll be fine uh that was the wrong voice uh wait a minute something is coming The door, which had been clumsily blocked by boards and friends, fell completely and shattered. Yikes! <laughs> Uh-oh. Hashtag not my Vera. The Violet Witch with violet hairs. Distortions are so easy to catch. Is Domino a guy or girl? I can't tell. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. 
Even if the door is blocked, what will you do if hmm, we break it down and enter? It became a big deal since the distortion phenomenon. And they're the, the ones who broke into this place first, anyway. Take care of it, Domino. Wow, you were swinging your sword a lot just now. Aren't you tired? Now, hold on. We apologize for coming into the morgue, but I really want to ask you something. I have nothing to say to a distortion. My friends, can't you just listen to me for a second? Hey, people, let's listen for a moment. Running into a distortion that has some semblance of common sense. It's not exactly common to find one, is it? But it doesn't change the fact that we have to kill them. In addition, it is a distortion recognized as the witch. It might try to manipulate your mind. You're the ones calling us witches. We don't do that. Seriously. That's right. We've never done anything other than making friends out of those who have already stopped breathing. And besides, this is a weird place with a lot of dead people. There are even things hanging on hooks. I don't even know who had this. Oh, how should I say this? Zway received a request to kick you out of this area. This was from the District 23 Butchers. What? I mean, you guys stole a bunch of bodies. Uh, bodies that belonged to the owner of this warehouse. What about the bodies? This wasn't a morgue? I don't need to say more. Domino, enough of the chatter and get on with it. Ah, uh, let's do that, Vice Director. Once and for all. Catherine, take our friends and run away. We'll stop them for now. Hurry. Uh, don't you dare die on me. Ever. <laughs> it feels strange to be treated as a bad guy here. Isn't that right, Vice Director? Domino, focus on the battle. I don't know why you're so focused on what they're saying. And a long time passed. <sighs> Katarina, how many of us are left now? Five or so. They're still chasing us. We have to run further. Let's face them. We've never really fought back before. No, then we'll just be then we'll just be like those bad guys. Well, that's true. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Catherine. What's that thing in your arms? Is this a paper? How long has this been stuck in my body? An invitation. Wasn't this a big deal in the city? Can I use this to run away? Are you kidding me? I heard it's a very dangerous place. But it's better than dying right now. You've made it all the way to this place. Ah, uh, let's just be nice, ladies. They all look like dead corpses anyways. I didn't hear any cries of pain from cutting them down. No, if people like us completely disappear from the city, the city won't be able to change anymore. Is that the end of your will? Vice Director, uh, should I go first? <clears throat> ah. So, are they gone? What were they... What they were holding was clearly an invitation to the library. Huh. They ran away? Is it like some place no one returns from? Dude, this voice I've given him is awful. <laughs> this is so bad. Isn't it currently a star of the city? Yeah, so they won't be coming back. The request is complete. I've... I've been treated like some kind of bad guy. 
I couldn't even settle things in a cool way. Besides, we have to work for that person's meat and the disgusting things they eat. <laughs> Man, how nice. Pierre? Just be patient. This is a world where money is everything anyway. Ah. These guests are a bit special. Haven't we had a similar situation before? You mean them escaping into the library? Yeah, they were a bunch of fixers back then. The ones who got caught at the wrong time by the blue sicko. Besides, it's not often the case where the guest is a distortion itself. Hmm, they're talking weird right before they entered the library. The city won't be able to change anymore. What were they going to change in the city? That's right. They're definitely different from... the previous guests that we've had. Eh? Oh boy. This turn of events has been rather interesting. They are because... Wait. Oh, I'm struggling just a bit. They are. Because this is the first time we will be receiving a distorted guest that still resembles a human. Besides, they do give off a different feeling compared to the previous guests. But of course, no matter what kind of guests come, we can only treat them with the utmost diligence. Welcome, dear guests. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my roles namesake. Ah, hello. Put yourself together, Catherine. She may have a pretty face, but there's no doubt that she's the highest ranking person in this dangerous place. L look, we just ran away here for a while. Can't you just let us go? I won't ask for anything else. I can't do that. Now that you're in the library, you have to abide by the rules of it. However, if you fight and manage to win here, you will get everything you so desire. And I guess we have to fight. Uh, okay. But if we really have to fight, then we're going to fight from the bottom of our hearts now. I don't care if anyone gets hurt or dies. This is the first time for me as a library director to encounter such people who talk the way that you do. The city needs good people. The city is currently occupied by a lot of bad people. But we're slowly trying to fill it with more of ourselves. You know, little by little. By turning the dead into good people like us. But if we kill people here, then we're going to become bad people. Just like everyone else here. I see. You don't need directions. You'll soon face it if you keep on going ahead. May you find your book in this place. Now, I did read on the um, on the page. It wanted us to do this with... Uh, I believe it was only... Uh, Star of the City stuff? So, I'm gonna... We're going to have to make a Star of the City floor, but that's okay. We're going to need to make a Star of the City floor anyway. Regardless, Catherine, 100 health, 50 stagger, 3 to 6 speed, normal, normal, endured, and normal, normal, endured. Speed 3, on a successful hit, if the target has dangle, tangled thorns, deal plus 1 damage. When inflicting feeble, disarm, bind, or tangled thorns, using a combat page, apply plus one additional stack. Rag attack. On use, restore one light. Two to eight, two to four, inflict one bind. Good child. On use, draw one page. On hit, inflict one tangled thorns. Tangled thorns can stack up to five. If the stack reaches five, change this effect to stuck thorns. Reduce all speed values by X Offensive die lose X power for the duration of the scene. So don't let it hit five. Gotcha. 
Touch of Thorns. Uh, two to eight. Dodge and inflict two. Tangled. Child of the City. Onclash win. Reduce the power of the opponent's next die by two. On hit, inflict two Tangled Thorns. Nine to twenty-one. Yikes. Witch's Hand. On use, all dice on this page gain power equal to four times the sum of Tangled Thorns and Stuck Thorns on target. Oh, Stuck Thorns can stack up to three Seal Speed Dice. Oh dear. <laughs> that sounds nasty. Okay. Katarina. Uh, 106 health, 60 stagger, 2 to 6 speed. Violet Curse. On a successful hit, if target has Tangled Thorns, deal plus one damage. Take two less damage from characters with Feeble, Disarm, Bind, or Tangled Thorns. Rag Attack once again. Good Child once again. Touch of Thorns once again. Shield of Thorns. Gain three protection next scene. Five to nine block. Four to eight on Clash Win. Inflict two Tangled Thorns. And Self Defense. Uh... All dice on this page gain power equal to the amount of strength on the target. Whoa. On Clash win, inflict three Tangled Thorns next scene. 5 to 10, 5 to 10, 6 to 13. By the way, this one right here reminds me of uh, that one scene with uh, Vi from Arcane. Maybe that's what Katarina is going for. Going for a Vi thing. <laughs> Actually, well, you know, yeah, Caitlyn. Yeah. Violet Curse, once again. Hidden sa Sadism. By the way, why, some people actually say sadism. I say sadism, but, you know, maybe I'm the weird one. But, hidden sadism. All dice gain plus one power against targets with feeble disarm, bind, or tangled thorns. Rag attack, good child, touch of thorns, bitter nails. On use, gain two strength. On hit, inflict two tangled thorns. Next scene. For surviving. All dice on this page gain power equal to double the amount of dead allies, up to plus five. Okay, might want to go for her first. On hit, inflict two Tangled Thorns. On hit, inflict one Feeble. Um, and then Violet Friend. On a successful hit, if target was damaged by an ally this scene, deal plus one damage. Rag Attack, good child. Child of the City and Touch of Thorns. So, I definitely think we're probably a little too strong for this. So, we'll probably have to make a Star of the City uh, floor. Which, I will go ahead and just do right now. Okay. I think I know how I'm going to do this. Um, so, I didn't actually end up setting up a floor. However, Here's what I'm going to do. There's four fights. So, for fight one, we're just going to roll with Netzax floor since it is uh, proven to be one of the weaker floors. So, if nothing else, it'll test it out. And for fight two, we will use the Violet Witch uh, full set if we get it. Um, I'm assuming we get the Violet Witch stuff. So, if we do... Uh, we will simply put all of their pages onto ourselves, and then we'll do fight two, and then we'll use fight two stuff, and then we'll use fight three stuff. So that, that That's how I think I'm going to do it. So, <laughs> hopefully that's okay. A little bit of a compromise, because I, I don't really want to destroy my builds. Then again, there is actually a mod that lets us have a second save file. I should probably just do that. Especially with that mini series I'm gonna do. Yeah. Well, you know what? This will this will be the last. Uh, you know, I gotta make a week, not week. I gotta make a specific tier of library build. This will be the last one where we don't. <laughs> then let us begin. We're gonna see a lot of Netzak in this episode. So. Oh dear. Self-defense. Well, luckily for us, we have no strength at the moment. Uh, has let... You know what? Let's gain some... You know what? I think we're just in pain. So instead, here's what I'm gonna do. Unity coordination. Actually, can we count on that? Unity... 
Yeah, we might be able to counter that. Uh, Unity Justice should be able to counter that relatively easily. That's gonna hurt no matter what we do, so we're gonna go for a Toba Toba Tetris Roll. Um, Unity Love should be able to counter that. No problem. And then we're going to brace up right here. Let's see, what are you going for? That is going to hurt no matter what we do. So we're not able to go for this. So I'm just going to go in on you. Uh, let's get some light and draw and then let's get some smoke. Let's see how we do. Mm, the power of unity. Okay, we got some tangled thorns, which means we are going to be get weaker, but hopefully our smoke is actually going to be able to uh, counter that. Okay, very painful. That's okay. Okay, there's the justice. Shockwave. It worked out in our favor. Yeah. Vapor being one of our biggest hits that we have. We're going to go for Laughing Powder. Hopefully, being staggered is now a thing of the past. Uh, Tangled Thorns is almost in its permanent state. I think it is in its permanent state here. Yep. Ooh. Okay, so he's almost out of the fight completely. Let's go for Loss of Senses right here. And then we're just going to have to play the defend game. And hopefully that is going to work in our favor. We are going to discard and that should be fine. Um, Automatis Rush should be okay. And then we can loss of senses right there. Um, let's see, we don't have many unity pages going, do we? Not really. So, let's counter that one. And then, Guidance. And then for here, we could XL Smoke. Might be a little bit early. I'm going to go for another Loss of Senses right here. And then we are going to go for Smoke Blow right here. That should be good. Okay, good start. Unity happiness. Okay, that is a little bit of light for some of us. We do land a tiny bit of a debuff. Ow. Okay, big damage. Big debuff next turn. Okay, their debuff is stacking on us. I'm going to go for... I want to go for Elation. Okay, we do have a couple dice that are not working in our favor right now. Let's see, who has the biggest attack? Um... You know what? We'll try right there. And then what we'll do... We'll go for Shockwave. That's not going to work, but that's okay. Um, ooh, this is going to be bad no matter what we do. Actually, you know what? Let's counter right here. And then I'm just going to go for a basic multi-slash. Um, could go for Unity Courage. I'm actually going to go for a Vapor right back here. And then Guidance of the Gears right here and then Kura is going to go for an XL smoke right here and that should finish off a couple people at least also I couldn't help but notice that um broken speed die actually does go away so it's not permanent like I thought it was going to be so that's a good thing clash of blades out almost a stagger Okay, we don't end up winning that one. We have a ton of counter die, which do end up working in our favor. Vapor is going to do an insane amount of damage. We're going to take a tiny bit of damage. That's okay. We're going to apply big, 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 big debuffs. Mega dodge. Recover some of our stats. 
Very good. Now that was an excellent turn. Now then, should we go all in with a unity combo? I'm thinking we should. So we'll go for unity bolster courage, uh, unity fiction, justice, and then we will get a little bit of our light back. Um, let's go for hope to counter right here. Um, could go for another fiction, although we just want people to get the cards. So we're going to do that, do this. Let's go for a happiness. And then we can recover a little bit more doing that. We'll also go for a brace up to get some extra draw. I don't think anybody... Okay, no, we are. All right, let's see how we do. Fiction doing insane amounts of damage. Catherine actually runs away. Okay, so Catherine's most likely going to be a distorted fight. All right, well, we know what to expect, and we're going to quote, quote, downgrade ourselves with their pages, because I think it'll be a fun idea to use the previous fight's pages in the next fight. Um, flower petals could be relatively good. I'm kind of thinking incomprehensible could be fine. Decapo might also be really, really good. And we pretty much got this. No problem. Go. Ah! Got her. Oh, that was only act one. Oh, when it said two acts, I misread. I thought we could use two floors for this one. Uh-oh. Katarina, Caitlin, what if you leave me too? What should I do now? Why, why are you so cruel? Why does the city have to push us this far? We, I, I just wanted to be a good person. I didn't want to hurt anyone, so I brought the dead back to life. That's not wrong. You're killing people so easily anyway. It's the city that's bad. Why do you keep calling me a witch? That's enough. I'm so sick of getting hurt. I thought the city folk would learn from us, but I was wrong. From now on, I'm going to turn even the living into good people. If you're going to call me a witch, then I'll gladly be the witch as you so called me. The Violet Witch. Oh, she has so many stats now. <laughs> okay. Shimmering. Oh, boy. Violet Curse. Host of Thorns. When inflicting feeble disarm, bind, or tangled thorns, using combat pages, apply plus one additional stack. Take two less damage from characters who have any of those. And all dice gain plus one power against targets with any of those. At the end of the scene, mark a librarian as a good child, starting with the last librarian to the first. Oh no. Touch of thorns. Violet curse. Single use. Remove all dice from this page. Add a melee combat page to hand that can only be used next scene. On clash, gain power equal to double the amount of tangled thorns on the opponent, inflict two stucked thorns. Oh, that sucks. Child of the city. Bitter nails. Witch's hand. For surviving. Okay, tangled thorns. Witch of sorrow. On hit, inflict one stucked, stuck thorns next scene. Oh boy. I will make you pay for what you've done. Oh boy. Ah? Good child. This character is treated as an enemy for this scene. Oh, she's the one with elation. That's, uh. That's real bad. Um, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna suck. 
Okay, wonderful. Okay, a little bit of damage. Whatever we can get. Courage. Recover a little bit of our stuff. Vapor hits us for an absolute just a lot. Okay, that's stuck thorn, so we're, I don't think we're going to be able to move. Okay, double clash. Triple unity hit. Okay. There was indescribable, gaining us some debuffs. Justice. Okay, I think that's our entire unity burst down. Uh, oh boy. Loss of senses and vapor. <sighs> yeah, that's uh, that's great. Decapo is not the best for this either. Okay, here we go. We're just trying to get as many one-sided attacks as we possibly can. Good dodge. Although that one didn't quite dodge so well. Luck of the draw does end up helping us out. Shockwave. Ow. Okay. Get a tiny bit of damage on her. She does have quite a bit of smoke on her at this point. So she is taking increased damage. Okay, she's a 10 smoke. We're taking a little bit of damage. Exhale smoke for the giant burst. Rip. Okay, not the end of the world. We've almost got her. We're taking a little bit of damage, but you know, it's not uh not the worst. Token of friendship, recover HP. Yeah, that'd be nice. Gain power equal to the target's emotion level. So it'd be plus two. Target is staggered. You know what? Why not? Let's give it a try. Okay. Mass attack. Witch of Sorrow. Um. We get it 100% of the time? 100% of the time. Oh, this is going to be a couple staggers. I can already tell. Oh, okay, loss of sense is here. Wait, what? Okay, weird. I'm not sure what was happening there. I, I guess I was clicking the wrong button. Uh, let's just see what happens. I think we got her. The Witch of Sorrow. Yeah, I think we got this. Ow! Almost dodged that, actually. Okay, a lot of thorns. We're staggered. But... We got her. Ow! Ow! Stop! Ow! It hurts! <gasps> Yikes! <laughs> Woo! Okay! I, I, uh, are we gonna have to deal with four distortions? We're gonna find out. So! We're going to be using the vi- Now, assuming it gives us the books. It did. Okay. So we're going to be using those books in the next fight. What the heck was that? That girl turned into some monster all of a sudden. The library is a place which amplifies emotions of those present in it. The guest who came here to the library was already distorted and released all the emotions welled up inside within her. This could possibly be the result of such, should I say. It is the intensifying of the distortion. Uh, this entire thing was just plain scary. This has to be one of the most tragic things the library has swallowed up so far. And so ends the story of the heart with the goal to change the city. The one who threw me and the librarians the one who threw me and the librarians of this library into bottomless purgatory. This was merely the result of her self-proclaimed good deeds. And besides, that kid somehow resembles that other person 
who also bears the goal of changing the city. How shameful. Hmm. Really? What's with that look on your face? Nothing. Very nice. Catherine, Katarina, and Caitlyn. We also got all of their legendaries? Yes, we did. Okay, well, not legendary. You know what I mean. The... The... The, <laughs> the orange border. Yep, da, 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 da. Oh, this is... Hmm, <laughs> all right. Is it here? It's containing the distortion. This place was originally some kind of flower shop, right? Mm. I don't know how I feel about that voice. Yes, I honestly still couldn't. It. What a huge garden. Isn't it, diff isn't it a difficult sight to expect from the mm, back streets? Besides, it smells nice. Such a warm wind. Keep your guard up. You know what this distortion is, right? Yes, the name is Melody of the White Garden. It's a distortion that puts people to sleep with its unique atmosphere and music. Those who have fallen asleep are characterized by never being able to wake up again. Domino, you'd better be like Claire. Oh my, how can you be so rude? Don't tell me. And you even brought stimulants on purpose just to prepare us for this situation, right? It won't be that big of a deal. Maybe. Get ready to go in. Have the rest of the crew ready. I've brought about 15 people. I suspect that nothing really bad will happen. A gentle breeze blew the scent of morning sight. I don't think there's ever been a more comfortable at- This is the this is the red-headed one. Domino, you know it's dangerous from the moment you feel relieved. Stay alert. There are more than 40 dead fixers here. Can you stop taking me for a fool? Deputy Director is the main body. Oh, okay, Claire was the uh Claire was the girly one. The white giant tree inside the garden. There was a report from the reconnaissance team. The report. It's on record, right? Yes, six of the fixers from Section 5 that came here as a were wiped out. The report was last message. My final message. Goodbye. That's ironic. How can you bring yourself to kill others in this atmosphere? But I'm glad to hear that. This is a much better sight than the pianist. The number of people killed is actually a huge minority if this is the case. But no matter how little has died, this distortion ultimately became a nuisance for District 14. And we came here to handle it at the request of the HANA Association. Do you we need any more stories? I'm just talking about the scale of this task. The pianist who almost ended the street of music, or the distortion that killed 50 people at most. Are they really treating this as the same kind of monster the pianist was? The, Han the Hannah Association. As I said before, the number of people it has killed doesn't matter. We're only here to carry out the commission. To prevent any further damage. Your shield! Remember that! <clears throat> that wasn't quite girly enough. Not the shield of the re- Enough of this nonsense! You're about to see the main body soon. Ooh, pretty. A woman in a white mask was seen playing a mandolin. Wind blew by, and a strangely relaxed atmosphere spread. The distortion that kills people recklessly. The atmosphere here is... Weird to say. Take up your weapon. That should be the main body. What are you here for? 
This is a place where people who wish for peace come. Judging by the weapons you have, it doesn't look like you're here looking for peace. Please go back. There have already been a number of unwanted victims. So, you seem to be aware that you killed them! I didn't mean to, just... I wanted the people fring in the city to have a relaxing time for a while. The city is full of pain. Both givers and receivers abound. If I could relieve all of that pain for just a moment, if only I could sleep in peace. I never thought I would find such happiness, and so I started singing a lullaby. And now the garden, it's made. It's all just an excuse. You deceived them and made them die by telling them to rest. I... I never wanted it to be like this. When they woke up, I had hoped that they would forget the pain that they had suffered and become able to stand up again. But people know that. To forget the pain is only temporary, and when you wake up again, the pain will come back. They don't want to wake up out of their own will. I'm so sorry. I couldn't wake them up. When I kept on trying to make them, they still wouldn't. Scattered all over the garden. So in other words, all the bodies that turned into mummies are now scattered throughout these, these flower fields. Let's put aside our excuses. We're only achieving our goals. Please leave this place. I don't want to hurt you. If you try to attack me, elves in danger, regardless of intentions. I'm speechless. Don't blame me for this. Good, I'll go first. The poet did nothing, but the sound of a mandolin echoed around her. A peaceful tone was heard, which is rare in the city. A gentle... A gentle scented wind blew. Huh. Well, my mind. I am falling asleep. The stimulants. We need to admit the stimulants. You'll die if you ever fall asleep, buddy. Vice, vice director. I injected a stimulant, but I am so sleepy. Oh, it won't stop. The city gave us nothing but pain. I'd like to close my eyes just for a moment. Um, I'm so sleepy. I hope you don't mind me sleeping for a while. Domino, Claire, everyone else wake up! Ah. You too will soon fall into a deep sleep. So cruel. Were you the type to interfere with our minds of others? Were you the type to interfere with the minds of others? I brought a moonstone. Uh, how? Sorry. I'm sorry. My instrument, regardless of my intentions. I play a lullaby. We come across danger. And so I warned you. I never wanted this. I've warned you. Now forget the pain and sleep peacefully. Forget. Looking back now, this garden might not be bad. Uh, so, more. The last one fell asleep. It still happened in the end, and I never wanted to do any of this. Why do none of you chew in your eyes while asleep? 
Do all of you hate the city so much? Had you again? Please open your eyes again. Will you really allow your lives to end like this? Everyone open your eyes, please. However, no one answered. I don't want to... No, I didn't mean to hurt anyone in the first place. I... just... I just wanted everyone to become comfortable. In the eyes of those who weep, in the arms of those who have fallen asleep, that will never wake up. A single folded piece was revealed. Is this very an invitation to the library? I have this. The library. A lot of people went there to get what they wanted, but the place of death from which no one has ever returned. This might be... Is this the last path my fate has pointed me to? Can I finally die there? I couldn't even do it myself. So can you convict me? And so, only silence remained in the garden. Wow, that was awful! <laughs> Distortion that doesn't go your way. Is that even possible? I still don't know for sure, but we've seen unstable distortions before. You're talking about that <laughs> guy from last time, right? I think it will be similar this time, too. Yeah, I can grasp the story beforehand, but I don't want to... I don't want our guest... I don't want to receive our guest this time around. Why? Well, what can I say? He came here to die, didn't he? She? I feel sorry for her. Wait. All right, wait, am I talking about Philip? Oh, God. Same with this girl. But there's a certain... Wait, what? But there's a certain you keep on repeating like a habit. Oh, a cert there is a certain phrase you keep on repeating like a habit, no? Yeah, that's that and this is this. That distortion will be arriving as a guest soon. I'm going. Okay. Guess I'll prepare too. Welcome, dear guest. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my roles. Namesake. Oh, name is missed. I see. I know that you don't have any particular books you want in this library. But according to the rules of the library, you either get a book or you end up becoming a book yourself here. Becoming a book? Do you mean death? At f then it seems I have found the right place. I don't understand. Did you really come here to die? Simply just because of the way you feel guilty. I... I can't afford to live. That's why I came here. The punishment I... A judgment from those who are angry at me, but cannot forgive me. But I think you can give it to me. I'm not going to say you're crazy. Everyone tends to have differing perspectives. May you find your book in this place. Okay, let us see what we are up against. The White Minstrel, Shimmering. Uh, endured to all stress, 180 health, 200 stagger resist, 3 to 6 speed. Lullaby. If a librarian becomes staggered, they die immediately. Very cool. If rest and melody are active, become untargetable and ignore all damage and effects. Okay. Starting with scene 3, uses a special mass attack page each scene. Ambail. Swap the percentage of stagger resist of all enemies with the percentage of stagger re Wait, what? Swap the percentage of stagger resist of all enemies with the percentage of stagger resist. Oh. 
So for example, if we're only missing one stagger resist and this goes off, suddenly we only have one stagger resist. So to make it a little more obvious, if we're missing 30% stagger, she uses this, we're now missing 70% stagger. Does that make sense? I think it does. Dice. Swap the percentage of HP with their stagger resist. What? So we're just shuffling health all over the place. Okay. Well, stagger. Use swap ineffective endured weak fatal resistances of all enemies to... Wait, what? Just make them immune? Well, no, it swaps. Okay, I don't think I understand how that one works. Rest. Shimmering, endured, normal, endured, endured, normal, endured. 1 to 3 speed, 350 health, go to sleep. When HP drops to 1, become staggered instead. At the start of the next scene, recover 50 HP and full stagger resist. If this character and Melody have 1 HP, at the end of the scene, die. This character only deals stagger damage. Peaceful Melody, 8 to 8. On use, gain 1 endurance, 4 to 7, 4 to 7. Fading sound. Guaranteed 12 to 12, 4 to 7. Uh, shimmering. Endured, endured, normal. Endured, endured, normal. Into eternal sleep. Um, okay, so, uh, same one. Melody, this character deals only physical damage. Borrowing sound, 4 to 9. Free from suffering. On strength, next scene. 4 to 7, 5 to 12. That is a strong one-cost card. Uh, Warm Blossom. Pierce, 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 Blunt. Okay. Okay, so... <clears throat> I've already attempted this fight once. And, um... I gotta tell you, we didn't have the build for it. So, I updated my build by, like, moving around one passive. And, uh, if you're wondering why I'm not showing the initial attempt, it's because I literally can't. Because for some reason, this is what was recorded. Now, luckily, the audio was intact, so that's why going through the story, the audio might have sounded a little funky, because little did I know, for some reason, it was recording my fan's control panel rather than actually recording the game. That's a first. I've never had that happen before. But, <laughs> nonetheless, uh, the first attempt went very well. So we've updated our build just a little bit. So, we now have Kizuna on Facey Randy, Sam, and Isabel. And we have Energy Strike on all of them as well. So, yeah, hopefully this time goes a lot better. Alrighty. From the top this time, let's do this. So, um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually going to let Borrowing Sound hit us. And instead, I am going to go for Unity Justice and Smoke Blow. Netzack is... Um, actually, we're going to go for Unity Happiness, and then we could go for Face the Battlefield, which will give us quite a bit of resources back. And then, now this is the one that only does, okay, this is the one that only does, um, Stagger. So you know what? We're actually going to let Peaceful Melody hit us. We're going to attempt... To block that, although, hmm, chances are it won't do very well. And then we will go for a multi-slash. Um, we're going to attempt to stop that one. And then we're going to apply Tangled right here. Okay, this should be good. Um... Yeah, this should be fine. I'm just double-checking all my stuff. 
Actually, I would rather restrain do that. Oh, we can't do that. Well, actually, there's no reason why we couldn't. We could do this, and then we could do one of these. I Facey Randy didn't even do anything. Oh my god. It's fine. We don't need it. What's the worst that happens? We get one shot by an ability that we can't dodge? It'll be fine. See, I'm actually just big braining it. You have no idea how much of a big brain I just pulled, but let me tell you, you'll understand here shortly. It definitely wasn't me not seeing Facey Randy because the cards pretty much cover his entire body and I didn't even register his speed dice. But you know what? That's fine. That's totally fine. Totally acceptable. Uh, you know, no problem at all. Okay, now everyone actually is attacking. This is what we like to see. Brace up, unfortunately, didn't work for us. That's fine. There we go. Block! Block! We take a tiny bit of damage. Nothing too terribly bad. Okay. Energy strike! Multi-slash. We're going to gain a little bit of our resources back. Fading sound is going to do a tiny bit of stress damage to us. That is totally fine. Uh, could apply thrill, tentacles. Now, laughing powder in a strange way actually hurt us. But likewise, if we get staggered, we're still going to die. So, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword. What I think I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go for elation on Netzak. And that should be fine. Now, she is going for the first attack, uh, which is going to swap our stagger resist with the stagger resist that we're missing. So, if we're only missing 1% stagger resist right now, then we're about to be at 1% stagger resist instead. So, you know, it's a little bit hard to plan around. I think I've successfully planned around it, though, although I do think Netzak is about to die however not exactly a bad thing since we are going to have three kizunas activate at once from it oof yeah netzex dead as you might have expected ah big damage unity fiction Using the last of Netzak's given power, we do a little bit of stress damage to ourselves. that's fine. Multi-slash is not going to work in our favor, however, we're not going to take any stagger damage. Okay. I'm actually kind of thinking maybe we should have taken a late, uh, Laughing Powder. It's a bit late now, but, you know, it might still be fine. So this is the one... Swaps HP percentage with the... Okay, so... Alright. So, for example, Kura is going to go to, like, maybe 10% health, but he's going to go back to 90% uh, stagger resist. So, all in all, very good thing. But... We need to be able to actually make some use out of it so what we're gonna do i think we're actually just going to sacrifice kura um and then we're essentially going to go all in on melody i think um like we're going to go for witches we're gonna go for shockwave that should be a ton of damage right there um maybe we win three of those clashes and then we go for good child and then I'm going to go for Child of the City and try and win that one right there. Um, for surviving, I don't actually think it'll work right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do Shockwave. Well, actually, hang on. I'm going to go for surviving first, then Shockwave, and then let's have some fun! So this should technically work in our favor, although there is a world where this goes wrong, but let's find out. <clears throat> Everyone blocks it. Obviously, it's only one-to-one. -one. 
which is hand, does get us a ton of damage. We deflect, we hit. Good child is going to be a good amount of damage. Okay, double shockwave working in our favor. Unity bolster. Okay, almost dead on Facey Randy, but we're still holding in there, at least for the moment. If we could get a single stagger, that would be really, really good. Um, let's go for flower petals on, if I can find, who actually has the most health? Facey Randy currently has the most health. Um, let's also go for our galaxy with Facey Randy. Not that we're able to just yet, but we are going to want to. Now, what this right here is going to do, if we are immune to something, we become weak to something. If we're neutral to something, nothing happens. If we're endured, we become... What is it? Okay, yeah, so weak to endured, fatal to ineffective, ineffective to fatal and endured to weak. So basically, it's not going to affect us too much, but it is something to take note of because we are going to be a little bit weaker than what we might be expecting. Um, so at this point, I say we do not use energy strike uh, because it is actively going to be hampering us from here on out. So... We just have to try and win some of these clashes. Obviously, we can't go for Witch's Sorrow, even though I would absolutely love to do so. But that is okay. We are going to go for Automatic Rush, just to try and protect Facey Randy, because, unfortunately, Kura is one of our sacrificial lambs, since he does not have Kizuna. So, we're going to go for Shockwave. We're going to go for Multi Slash. However, we're immediately... Is this the one that only deals stagger? Okay, we should be fine. And then what we're going to do over here, we're going to try and protect Kura as much as we possibly can, although uh, chances are we're not really going to be able to do that very effectively. Um, we will go for Energy Strike just to try and get a little bit more damage here, and let's see what happens. All resistances are chained, except for neutral, which is going to remain neutral. Ouch. Ah, oh, we lost Isabel. Okay. Little bit unfortunate, but hey, what's bound to happen? Okay. Almost lost Kura. Kura actually survived this turn, which is a little bit unexpected. Not like something that I'm like, ah, <laughs> whatever. But, um, definitely unexpected. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to boom right there. And then I don't believe we can do anything else. No, we cannot. So, then we are going to exhale smoke right here. And then we will trail product right here. And then we just do as much damage as we possibly can. Um, let's counter that. Let's go for one of these. And we will do an energy strike just to try and get as much value as we possibly can. Here we go. Let's hope for a lot of healing on Facey Randy, since he's the one who recovers health based on damage he takes. So we do get one set of healing. That's good. Okay, we get... Mm, not as much healing as I would have liked, but it still works out one way or another. Elation is actually going to help us recover just a little bit. Exhale Smoke doing good damage. We unfortunately miss our block. That is really unfortunate. Energy Strike does do a good amount of damage, though. Okay, we actually recovered some of our stats for everybody. Very good. We got a Stagger off. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, <clears throat> um, one-sided attack, we're actually going to go for Teardrop on, I'm debating Sam or Kura, I actually think it's going to be Kura though, 
And then we could go for Faint Aroma because that's actually going to get us a ton of damage right now. So we may as well. Okay. Um. All right. Let's see what we can do. Swap the percentage of HP with the percentage of their stag resist. So Kura is basically about to go to full health, but he's going to be staggered. And if you're, well, actually, is he guaranteed staggered? Yeah, I actually think he's at 100% stagger. So he is actually about to um, nuke everybody. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for Faint Aroma. That will basically guarantee the kill on Melody. Uh, so what we have to do now is we have to try and guarantee the kill on Rest. And if we can do that, I think we have beaten this fight. So this one only deals stagger? Okay. You know what? Let's just get rid of that page, and then I... I'm get, I'm actually going to hold energy on Facey Randy. So here we go. Let's just see what we can do. Okay, it does get blocked. That's fine. Big damage, big damage. Okay, we actually did get a second stagger, but if we can't kill Rest, then Melody is just going to revive next turn. Witch of Sorrow, however, will help us out a lot with that. 68 damage. Here comes the mass AoE. I don't know why Isabel died. But it's now just a one-on-one. -on -one. Mass Summonation. Dice on this page and the page clashing with it are... Uh, we're dead regardless. Let's see. 5 to 11, 4 to 8... There is a chance we block this, actually. Um, however, our strength is not going to help us in the slightest. So the fact we only have one person left... Kind of unfortunate. Okay. I found the play. Apparently, ever-repeating performance is just amazing for this fight. Reason being... It essentially... Here, I'll show you. So, ends the scene. That right there is the most OP effect that we could possibly have. You want to know why? Well, easy. We prevented the, effectively, insta-kill of the swap stagger uh, missing versus what you have. We completely skipped the second one, and she went directly on to the swap HP and stagger instead. So, yeah, needless to say, that was extraordinarily useful for this. Now, it's not a guaranteed win just yet, although we are looking really, really good. We do still have a little bit of fight that we need to do. Now, both of them are staggered, so we're literally just trying to recover as many resources as we can, both health and a tiny amount of stagger. But basically, we're just waiting for this turn to end so that we can go all in on her. And hopefully, we've recovered enough resources to where we're actually going to be able to do this. So... Um, Isabel got both Pebble and Tentacles, and then we went for Token of Friendship, and then we went for Ever Repeating Performance. Um, and despite changing Netzak's build around, he did still, unfortunately, go down. Not a lot we could have done about that, but now all we need to do is just go completely all in. We cannot hold anything back, because if we do, there is a fair shot that we are going to die. So, you know, always a cool thing. Um, I think... Uh, I'm gonna go for Exhale Smoke. I know that seems like a weird choice, but hopefully it pays out for us. The Witch of Sorrow, just to get a little bit of free damage. Uh, literally nobody blocked it, and we lost Sam. Okay, a bit unfortunate. Not the end of the world yet, although we cannot afford to lose another one. 
Uh, in fact, I think we've... Or no, she... <gasps> Stuck thorns. Oh my god! <laughs> Stuck thorns actually just saved our life. I can't believe it. Actually, genuinely... Stuck Thorns is the only reason we're actually going to be getting damage off this turn. That's insane. I think we actually would have just lost again. I don't think we did enough damage. I think we're actually still dead. Oh, wait! No, Stuck Thorns is still there. Okay. Um. We don't have... Actually, potentially we could do something with thorns. Yeah, this is all we got. I don't think we have the damage, though. We're just really struggling on damage. Alas, my instrument finally stopped playing. It truly was the right decision to come here. Thank you very much. Now... Please take my life away. Please. I can't afford to live with the weight of this great sin anymore. For me, who has no power or courage to atone for, grant me death. If you won't kill me by scene three... I assume you're going to, uh, game end yourself? Or will you lash out at us? Is this a choice? If you won't kill me by scene three. So this is scene, I assume you're going to kill us. Choice in despair, on use, die. I had a feeling. But. I'm not heartless. I won't make you do it yourself. And so ends the reception of the Melody of the White Garden. Yeah, she was too uh, she was too troublesome to deal with. It pains me every now and then. It's not like you to be acting like this. It's like that when your opponent is practically saying, please kill me, and just sticks her neck out like that. What more is there for me to say? All human beings can feel compassion. She started out as those monsters we call distortions, but she eventually came back to being human. It's like what you and I went through. The one who found rest in the library. Is that what happened? Among the results of mind therapy, this... I wonder if this is the case too. Turning a person into a monster is normally the result of, uh... Receiving mind therapy. As expected, everything you people do in the wings is just complete insanity. My thoughts exactly. Well, let's hope she's finally able to sleep in peace at the end of all this. Yeah, I think she should. Kaboom! Elegant. Usable at 4 plus timbre. I see, so that's her AoE move. Broken Dream, only usable at 6 plus timbre. 28 to 46 mass summonation. God dang! Ambail. Swap the percentage of stagger resist of the opponents with the percentage they miss. Ha! And Mist of the Garden. 
If this character did not roll any dice for the scene, all allies draw one page next scene. If this character did not use any pages for a scene, gain three negative emotion points. At emotion level three or above, gain three negative emotion points even if a page was used. If the character did not use any pages for a scene, gain one timbre. Hmm. Most interesting. So it's like an AFK kind of build? Little strange, but uh... Hmm. Maybe we give it to one of our floor members. Now, okay. I know you're curious in what we were using, so... Here is Netzax. Uh, thing he was using, although he was the first to die, unfortunately. All in all, pretty simple. We are using the special uh, skill skills of a dealer modded passive thing, um, which is giving us a little bit of extra power. At the start of a scene, draw one page, discard one random page, uh, and deal hand. All dice gain one power per two pages in hand, up to a maximum of five power. Bottom deal, if the character discards a page, draw one page at the start of the next scene. If this character discards a page, restore one light and puffy broom. Because normally he's gaining smoke. Uh, Kura is basically using the exact same page that he had before all this. And then, here's where it gets real funky. Facey Randy is using Catherine's page, which as you can see here, little bit of a weird getup, but hey, at the end of the day, it got us through, so it's fine. Sam is using Katarina's page, which is, I want to say a little bit of a defensive deck. Not too terribly much, but it's defensive enough. And Isabel is using Caitlyn's page, which it... Okay, the passives are the same for, like, most of these, but, you know, <laughs> it got us through, and that's the most important thing. Although, let's be honest, uh, we probably wouldn't have made it if it wasn't for um, ever-repeating performance. Also, uh, what's up with the uh, locked right here? What is up with this? Has this always been here? Does one of our mods add more abnormality pages? Oh no. Oh no, did I just... I think I might have spoiled something for myself, but I don't actually know what. What? Their body suddenly turned into petals and flew away! You monster! I don't know if this is a boy or girl. Alas, I am the prophet willing to save all the pitiful creatures residing in this city. Those who would hinder my work, you are nothing but the embodiment of evil itself. But I still freed you from the endless pain by leading you to Nirvana. You are supposed to offer gratitude to me not call me a monster. You are all fools. Such, such fools. Enough with the BS! This Nirvana thing is all a bunch of BS! Everything you say is BS! You're just some babbling monster! You may relax now. I'll still mercifully give you a chance to enter the realm of Nirvana, no matter how stupid you may seem. Report on the situation you have heard over the radio. It looks... It looks like half the people in Section 3 were wiped out. Wouldn't it have been better if all of us were to go at once? If we did that, then the entirety of Section 3 would have been wiped out. It's not just the ability to kill the other person instantly just by touching it. It's the ability to change into petals and fly away when it reaches a certain wavelength. 
I'm going crazy. This is how access is dangerous. The total number of deaths already... No, the total number of deaths so far has already exceeded 200. How about we just report our inability to fulfill the request to the HANA Association? If this is how things are going to be, there's no way we can win. We're up against a star of the city level distortion here. Dang it! I'd rather fight like a man and die for no reason. For the rest of us, keep an eye on the savior's next course of action. I'll send another request for support to the southern branch of the association. The music is so quiet. Hang on. Okay, maybe that's a little better. Uh, honey, I'm getting a weird wave on this radio for some reason. Here you are, you piteous creatures. Your road to salvation is at hand. Now, forget those worries. Dang it! I'll try and stop you for now. Everyone back off! <laughs> no way, baby. Are you seriously just pretending to be cool? This is different. You have to retreat too. I don't know how much I'll be able to survive alone, but if it's the two of us, I'm sure we can save the others. However, none of the subordinates escaped. Rather, they were merely taking a fight, fighting stance behind Klein and Dalla. You guys are the dumbest! I don't know anymore! Hmm... People seem to have misunderstood. You poor things would take me for a monster. Cease this foolishness. I am your salvation. I shall soothe your pain and lead you to the realm of Nirvana. You think you're so smooth with your words, but the reality is you're just a butcher who tries to justify his killings. This is why self-proclaimed good intentions always turn out to be so dangerous. If you were someone I could really talk to, then everything would have already been resolved through a normal conversation. Alright, let's do this! Everyone be careful not to get swept away by the waves. And try to never make any direct contact with this body. As I checked earlier, it's not that physical strength doesn't work. Stay here as long as you can. Do as you wish, you fools. Though how piteous you are, I'll save you with glee. And after not a long time passed, most of the personnel met their end. There were only about six people left. Dang it! The waves are going through my body! What a pain! It's different! Can you hold on? Even the waves flying at me were completely hit. Who the heck was that? I'm strong, so I'm fine! Uh, that's great, but she asked a question. <laughs> Hey, do you know who that was? I'm fine! <laughs> uh, what about the other personnel? Those who cannot continue the battle, retreat quickly! At this rate, there will be no one left to report the danger. This is my order as a Section 3 director. Honey, if you go like this, you'll be in danger too. It's okay. How many times have I told you I'm invincible? Stop clinging to me and go! I ask for the protection of other people! It's different! Stay safe, honey. Except for Klein, all survivors of Zwei Section 3 fled, and only the Savior and Klein remained there. I let all my men run away. Is it like a last resort? Hmm... 
Not really. No matter where you go, you'll face me someday. It's just that I didn't care. Why do you kill everyone like that? Don't you feel any guilt? What a foolish question. This is not murder. This is all about bringing salvation. This city is full of pain. Living itself is a pain. I'll pull you out of the pain, and all shall go to Sukhavati. Sukhavati. It's like a misguided justice with a purpose. Okay. I didn't expect the words to work from the beginning. Come, I'll save you with glee. Try it if you can, you monster. And a wind filled with petals blew once in the alley where blue petals were already flying. There's no yeah. There's no reason to feel guilt, as it might mere as it is merely a behavior of saving someone out of pain. I recently visited the White Garden in District 14, hearing the news that someone who resembles me is there. But all that was left was nothing but an abandoned, ragged flower shop. What a shame. I was hoping for a meaningful discussion with someone who walks the same path as a savior myself. Through the fluttering petals, a piece of paper fell before the savior. Hmm, what is this? An invitation. This place is the so-called library, the place where foolish creatures rush in and out of their shoreless desires. Hmm. But why would this fall here? Then, the savior looked at the list of books written in the middle. Ah, this is the White Gardens. Interesting. Good. That is where I should be heading. I want to listen to her story. I must not also forget to relieve the pain of those residing in the library. Ah, I feel more joy than ever. He's completely different than the one we received last time. You best not get involved with people who talk about themselves as saviors. Hmm. What do you look... Why do you look like you chewed on a bug? I think it's because he's the type of individual I hate the most. A hypocrite who acts like he's the savior. I hate it so terribly. Whoa, calm down. You'll be in the library soon, right? Let's try to relax and greet him first, huh? <sighs> yes, I should. <sighs> ah, this place is clean and wide. What a rare sight. Though, this is the space of the transient void. I should admit its beauty. Welcome, guest. Are you the master of this place? But I cannot see any warmth in your eyes. The words from those without heart bear no meaning. You are no different from all the fools I've seen so far. How disappointing. Is that so? I'm just doing what I'm doing. You're doing what you're doing. Of course, I don't mean to be nice to you. Your words mean nothing, simpleton. Where are all the piteous people I must save? You can go straight this way. May you find your book in this place. Yes, we should move on. The Savior! 500 health, 260 stagger resist. Very cool. 3 to 7 speed. Normal, normal, endured. Normal, normal, endured. Okay, we also get two floors for this one with two axe. Uh, that's probably fine. 
Shimmering, uh-huh. Distorted Faith, takes no stagger damage, cannot become staggered, immune to status ailments, except for bleed and burn. On a successful hit in a one-sided attack, instead of dealing damage normally, deal pale damage. Oh no. Bonus damage equal to roll value times 1.5% of target's max HP. Hypocrisy. If this character does not take more than 50 damage in a single scene, take... Huh? If this character does not take more than 50 damage in a single scene, gain 10 strength, endurance, and haste next scene. Hmm... Upon taking 120 or more damage in a single scene, use not kill living things. Mass attack page that deals pale damage. Next scene. Not kill living things. Only usable if 120 plus HP was lost during the previous scene. On hit, deal no damage and stagger damage normally. Wait. On hit, deal no damage and stagger damage normally. Instead, deal bonus damage equal to roll that so deal pale, and then deal pale. Okay. Boundary. Uh, for pretty simple. Selection. Uh, pretty high roll, deal stagger. Mercy. 6 to 10, 6 to 10, deal stagger. Devotion. 7 to 12, 7 to 12, deal stagger. Nirvana. If target's HP is lower than 30%, kill them. On hit. Very cool. Humility. If user stagger resist is lower than 50%, recover 5 stagger resist. And selflessness. Give 1 strength to 2 random other allies next scene. Oh, that's one way to reveal that you're going to get uh, back up. Now, let us begin our journey. Let us walk our way towards ascension. Okay, um, I don't think we have 50 damage, but I also don't think we have 120 damage, so we'll just see what happens. Okay, discard. Overcharge so that we do not roll next scene because he... Wow. Tail damage seems totally fine. Okay. I don't think we did 50 damage. So what was it? Uh, on a successful hit, if the characters does not take more than 50... Wait. If this character does not take... Okay, so apparently we did 50 damage, because he didn't gain just insane amounts of, uh, of stats. So, we did something right, if, you know, nothing else. We did something right. So we cannot leave his dice unclashed, essentially. I think. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see how this turn does. Ow. Okay, very cool. We definitely have not done enough damage this time. We did seven. Very cool. Yeah, we didn't even get close. Not even close. So, we're just dead. Okay. Could stack up to 10. Um. Yeah, but we have, like, no chance of actually winning these clashes. And all of it is going. Well, that deck is literally dead. Um. Not a lot to be done about that. Okay. Well. In that case, let's just do a bunch of Tangled Thorns, restore a bunch of light, 
And uh, same premise here. Restore a bunch of light, do a bunch of tangled thorns. Let's just see how it goes. Yeah, I saw that one coming. All right, and we can't even apply, uh... Well, we didn't do 50 damage again, I can tell you that much. Um... Okay, so... Very cool. Let's just do some damage. Um, yeah, none of these are going to help. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's just do the, uh, the scream thing. Okay, so. Wait, he's just, like, out of, what, he out of attacks? Four plus, you know what? Fine, I'm just gonna, yeah, I mean, you're, you, let's be honest, you're gonna kill me anyway. Uh, I may as well just get as many attacks off as I possibly can. Um... So we'll go for let's have some fun. We'll go for shockwave. Uh, we'll go for restrain. Not that it does anything. We'll go for shockwave. Do I have any reason to even bother trying to clash with these? Because we know that he's going to win. Huh, I suppose we'll try. Wow, look at that. Wasn't even worth trying. <laughs> We just can't do enough damage to him. Like, legit. Just, we cannot do enough damage to him. I'm just gonna let the game roll for it. There you go, 28 damage. Look at that. Um... Yeah, and there's still a second uh, phase to this. So... Hmm. Well, I'm not playing nice against this fight. I was willing to play nice against the other ones. Not this one. Um, prepare to be absolutely destroyed. Maybe not destroyed right now, considering you're already emotion level 5 and we're emotion level 0. But, still... Well, you're not immune to bleed. That's part of the reason I chose to take Hod. Hey, if you can use Pale Damage, I can use something a little bit stronger than what you might be used to. And, oh man, <laughs> you're gonna regret angering this floor.
part two. It's more than I ever could have imagined. Are the people gathered at this library truly at this level of power? I've had no difficulties bringing salvation, but you are different. Then I should take you on more seriously, as all of this is for salvation. You should have accepted your way to Nirvana. Blame your foolishness. Released Savior. He is immune to all physical damage. So you have to stagger him to do damage. Okay. Shimmering. Distorted Faith Release. Take no step. Do Pale. Everything is impermanent, Mass Attack. If three or more Librarians block the attack, all physical damage changes to fatal immediately. If resistances become fatal, they change back to the original at the start of the next scene. Use everything as impermanent mass attack page. The scene, the resistances are changed back. 17 to 33. If three or more Librarians win the class, change all physical to fatal. Well, it seems like he's bringing his all, too. We didn't block it on anybody, so he is not going to take any damage. Actually, we are still dealing a tiny bit of damage, but it's not enough to even be remotely close to writing home about. Well. Slash dice game power, gift D or look of the day. Let's go for look of the day on, where is he, Caius. Let's give surprise gift to Crimson. And he's not going to use the mass attack. Okay, so we missed our shot. So now we just kind of have to wait it out.
Good lord, that took a while. Mainly because I just wasn't able to clash with the mass summonation, but I mean, we still got through it. Hod's floor continues to prove to be our just most ridiculous floor that we own. But, perfection of wisdom. On hit, inflict one sublimination. I don't know what that is, but I'd rather not find out. Regardless, let us be done with this zealous rabble once and for all. Be gone with you! Your sublimination has no power over us. You are simply a lost little child. Sublimination once more. Unfortunately for you, we do not give in quite so easily. You may try to use your subliminal messaging, but unfortunately, it has no grounds to beat people such as us. I lost. If you're going to bring out the power of a god, then I'm going to bring out the power of a god slayer. It's so refreshing. You did a good job. I've never had an opponent like that. It's as if my body was falling apart. It's more like something other than the... Wait. It's more like something other than me was being torn apart. It was scary. It must be an... It must be an ability related to death itself. Even in the days of Elcorp, there were abnormalities with such abilities. Whatever he was, he was the most monstrous guy I've ever seen, so far. A hypocrite who thinks he's the savior is the worst. Still, I feel a bit nauseous. Let's look on the bright side. Being able to catch this sense also means that you're closer to becoming human. You're right. Thank you. The unstable page of the savior. Jeez. So it still has the pale stuff. Ah, uh, that's a strong page. <laughs> What is this place? Pickman's Gallery? Yes, it's here. There's a strong smell of blood right from the entrance. I don't feel so well. Let's be patient. That, that's not that big of a deal compared to the massive losses Section 3 and 4 suffered recently. That's the only way to make complaints. <laughs> Let's get this over with and move. Ah, uh, okay. What the heck is this gallery supposed to be, though? Why does it smell this awful? Because it's made of meat that's rotting because it's people meat. Excuse me, is anybody here? We're from Section 6 of the Sway Association. Something is off. The paintings in this gallery, they're all painted in bright red. Not only that, but they smell really bad. The smell of blood. Ah, uh, were you searching for me? Ah, what a surprise. It's not a good habit to hide your presence. Uh, anyway, are you the owner of this gallery? Yes, I'm the artist of Pickman's Gallery. And my name is Pickman. Well, we received a complaint from a nearby group of residents about the Pickman's Gallery. A complaint? 
So that's what you're asking me here for. Let's not chat here. Come inside. I must at least serve you some tea. Oh, thank you. I wouldn't drink that. But why did the Zway Association send their fixes to do... this? Perhaps I was intimidated by your appearance. Me? <laughs> Obviously, the blood stains on my work attire don't wash off easily. I, I, I see. Do you hurt others? Do you have an enemy? Asking someone these questions in the back street. <laughs> don't you think this is meaningless? Is it not? I'm an artist. Of course I don't use those ordinary materials. I am a person who leaves death as an art. Uh, death? There are a lot of people who die in this city. The end of life holds a great meaning to those who have. I am the one who decorates the end of life as an art and comforts them. Then all these red paintings on the wall are... Paintings of the blood of the deceased. I... What about the white structure? Bone marrow, of course. It was made... <laughs> I knew that was coming. It was made from the bones of the deceased. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the anime. <gasps> oh, don't worry. At least I don't do anything to get a punitive request for me. The reason why I set up a gallery here, in District 23, is simply because it is a place where many corpses can be found just lying around. I, I see. I see. Then, okay. Then the complaints are... Uh, please, please try to pay attention to the smell out of the gallery as much as possible, and I'm asking you to refrain from dumping any more rotten garbage around the place. That's it. Hmm. It's just something that you could come and talk to in person. That's right. So please be careful not to receive any more additional complaints. Excuse us. <laughs> Goodbye. The sound of the door closing. The smile disappears from the lips of the person in red, and some time passed. He's a blood-red vampire! Art is also a hard way to go. Teacher, we're here! No, that's... oh, that's the worst voice I've chosen so far. Oh, welcome, welcome. How was the performance? There was an old man walking around the Backstreet's residence, and one orphan. I'm sorry, Kid was more rebellious than I thought. It took a little bit of hard work. You didn't want to lose too much blood, did you? It seems that our skills were not as good. I'm sorry. That's alright. I still have some materials I secured from last time. We don't have enough of them yet. Come on, let's hurry up. Remember our purpose. Death is a beautiful thing, and the subject must also be left as beautiful as possible. Whether or not, teacher. Teacher, I haven't been... I haven't been back for a long time yet, so I have a question. Ask away. I would never turn down a question from one of my students. Why do we only kidnap orphans or elderly people living alone? Isn't this art reserved for those who were killed in the city? Well, this is quite a topic of interest. The reason I'm targeting them is because... Because their deaths are certain to be lonely and miserable. 
Orphans in particular would often end up being gobbled up by those disgusting cannibals from District 23. And then their final state won't be beautiful at all, and will instead assume a disgusting form. I just can't stand that. I'd rather... Hmm. Wouldn't it be better for me to leave them as a work of art? That's my intention. Do you understand now? That's right. I'm sorry for questioning you. <laughs> no need. Absolutely no need to be sorry. Endless questions are the foundation of a developing art. You are doing well, so please do your best in the coming future. Let's see. What is in today's newspaper? Hmm. Three distortions that were graded by the Hana disappeared. Distortions. <laughs> They're all monsters. But all the deaths these distortions have inflicted to the people. Hmm. Well, occasionally they were horrifying. Horrifyingly artistic. I'd like to take a good look at them sometime. Then, the assistant came in with something from outside. It's Landerson. I think it's a dude. Teacher, this was in the mailbox. Hmm? Is this an invitation? An invitation to some buzz in the city? Yeah, this is something I heard about. Hmm. It's the library which has caused quite a number of deaths in the city. Interesting, but I'm busy with work right now. Let's think about it next time. He took a bizarre shaped dagger from his arms and began to slice through the body. Red blood spurted out. A vivid color fills the bucket. Let's see. This is the first step of preparation. It's always so fascinating. I can't believe this blood is still able to retain its vivid color after being extracted with this knife. Which workshop did you order it from? But alas, that this is not what I ordered. It manifested itself beside me after the white days and... No, white nights and dark days. It is my ego, you could say. Did you just say it was created? It's a bit strange to say, but that's right. Come to think of it, I heard the library's invitation has a reward written on it. Let's see. And what caught Pikmin's eyes were the books with the names of three distortions that disappeared. Directly assigned by Hana. No way. Did they all die in the library? <laughs> oh my, what kind of place is this library? Do they even capture the deaths of these people? Everyone, please stop working. We have something else to do. What's going on? Let's go to the library now. What? You look like you weren't interested at all until now. And besides, isn't the library a dangerous place? Currently designated as a, as a star of the city? I've never... I've never doubted your will, teacher. But, uh, I think we need to prepare. That said, I have developed an interest in the library's reward. The library seems to be a place that it can apparently give death to any being. What a, a beautiful place. The thought of death unfolding there, and those subjects, it makes me so excited. Now, come on, get your gear. I must bear witness to it with my own eyes. The procedures you've done for us are finally paying off. I thought I've already seen enough maniacs before. I'm sick of it this time. But the way he spoke, and his voice seemed really polite. I've told you before, haven't I? If you ever meet a polite and well-mannered person in the back streets, run for your life. 
there are a lot of lunatics among them. Among us? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, but I had a, I had Amogus on the brain, so I saw Among Them, and I was like, Oh my god, is that Amogus? Is that Amogus, the library of ruler? I'm starting to lose it from, uh, <clears throat> from doing so much voicing. And that dagger he was holding, didn't it look unusual? Perhaps that could possibly be some form of ego, too. A symbol of the self-extracted one. What? Did it somehow manifest in him? It's a condition to manifesting your ego. It doesn't matter what your ideas or tendencies are. That's crazy. To give a mad guy like that such a big blade. I'll be here soon. They will be here soon. I'll be going now. Teacher, this place is definitely artistic, isn't it? The atmosphere around here is not suitable for a place supposedly filled with death. It's nice to have this sense of unbalance. Uh, whoops. Welcome, dear guests. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my roles, namesake. Nice to meet you. I'm Pikmin, the owner of Pikmin's Gallery. Here's my business... Here's my business card. Thank you very much. It seems like the books you are looking for are definitely here. Yes, those distortions died here and turned into books, right? I want their contents. Pardon? This library is a place that is it blah. This library is a place. Space place space that can bestow death to even such beings. I truly believe that the best subject I have ever dreamed of is right here. You are like my dream, my beautiful lady. I see. May you find your book in this place. Ahem, 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 Really? Three on three, we only get one floor. Interesting. Pikmin. Normal endured, normal. Normal endured, normal. Speed dice plus one. Take half as much damage from bleed. Whenever other characters die, gain one strength ne next scene. All dice gain plus one power from targets with bleed. Sounded like a crimson uh, kind of thing. Pre-work. Draw one page, inflict three bleed to self. Okay, well not anymore. If target has bleed, restore one light. All right, well, you're back on track. Sketch. Inflict three bleed to self. Inflict one bleed uh, to target next scene. Act of art. Inflict two bleed to self next scene. Material supply. Inflict two bleed to self next scene. Inflict bleed, inflict bleed. And then... Prelude to Madness. Draw one page, inflict one bleed to two random enemies next scene. 4 to 7 dodge, reduce the power of the target's current die by 1, 4 to 9. On hit, inflict 3 bleed next scene. Salen. Selen? Take half as much damage from bleed. All dice gain plus 1 power for every 3 bleed on self. Oh boy. It's like, um, uh, Jakan. The, like, only page in the base game that actually, like, benefits off of bleeding yourself. Huh. Okay. Pre-work. Sketch. Act of art. Material supply. And ingrained madness. If user has bleed, all dice on this page gain plus one power. Inflict one bleed next scene. Fair enough. Um, take one less damage from attacks for every two ble- <laughs> Wow, that could be interesting. All right, pre-work, sketch, active art, material supply, and carefree madness. If user has bleed, all dice on this page gain plus one power. On hit, inflict one bleed, block, and on hit, inflict one bleed. Ah, no, no distortion yet. As long as it takes for the teacher. This place has a dangerous atmosphere. Okay. Let's experience the art here firsthand. It's beautiful. 
And then we go with the uh, Okay. Then eh, into what's this? Violet curse. Mm, restrain them. Leave them with nothing. Actually, hang on. Let's do restrain. And now let's do let's have some fun. Let's see how we do. Ow. Oh, whoops. Uh, get debuffed. Shockwave. Bit of burn. That helps. Okay, shockwave doing some good damage. Very cool. We go for the restrain. Boom. Debuff for next scene. Although they are going to be a little bit tankier than I would like. That's okay. I, wow, you're all, uh, you're all kind of fixated on me, huh? Let's try and block that. And then let's try and block this one. Um, let's do children into touch of thorns. And then we go for the despair. And of course, let's have some fun. Despair. <laughs> Just point a gun in their face, but he hits you before you can pull the trigger. Very unfortunate, I know. A tale as old as time itself. But a tale that must be told. Wow, we didn't land either of our blocks. Bit unfortunate. Not the end of the world. They are doing damage to us as well as ourselves. We do manage to get ourselves a stagger. Very nice. We rolled a 1 and immediately rolled a 10. That right there is Shadow Luck in a nutshell. If you ever needed to see it firsthand, um, yeah, that, that, that pretty much sums it up. That's Shadow Luck, like, right there. I'm gonna go for Witch of Sorrow. And then, let's go for Child into... Mm, yeah, it should be good. Witch of Sorrow. Well, he's not dead. He ran away. So, Act 2 is probably going to be him, but distorted. Which, to be fair, I think we all saw that one coming. Okay, we didn't manage to take him out. That is okay. We could go for Thorns. Um. Oh, Echoes from Beyond is a one cost. Oof. Or wait. I struggled with that earlier, but was I looking at the two cost or was I looking at the one cost? Am I insane? Probably. Uh, now that being said. Bink. Alright. Now let's take out his buddy who is the lowest. Technically, you all are, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so we will just have Sam and Facey Randy go for the kill. No regrets. It was for the teacher. This can't be happening. What a boring ending. Does that mean it's just scattering in the light? Wasn't that making the subject into a book? There's nothing left after death. Although the moment of death was ecstatic, ecstatically beautiful. There's no subject to perform on left. Was the paradise full of my dreams and ideals merely a lie? Alas, what a pity. Hmm? But the moment of death was more beautiful than I thought. I can hear the voice of a creepy yet beautiful woman. Did I tell you that I carry out the art path I want? Stop the BS. The part of art should always be as free as flowing water. Even after death, the art that preserves everyone's praise. The moment of death, when you lose your breath and your body falls like a doll, leaving red marks around you. Everything is beautiful art. Ah, it's so fascinating. A new horizon has opened up for my art. I'm so happy. Now, isn't the stage finally set up? Librarians of the library. Let's immerse ourselves in art together. Whether you die or I die, it doesn't matter now. 
Let's fall into this ecstasy together. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <coughs> Pikmin's page. Shimmering. Very cool. Bloody Passion. Take no damage from bleed. Give forced viewer to two random librarians. Whenever the active librarian dies, forced viewer status is removed by one. Whenever a librarian dies, all librarians gain 10 positive emotion points. When using a combat page, the first die on the page is rolled two times, up to twice per scene. On a successful hit, inflict Pikmin's choice to the target. All dice gain plus one power against targets with bleed. Gradiation. If target has bleed, deal plus two damage twice. Oh, wait, three times. Okay. Uh, fraudage. On clash, on clash lose three times, add plus one power to the next die. Okay. Scumbling. Start of clash. If the opponent has bleed, treat all physical damage resistances of the opponent as normal. And inflict bleed up to three times. Prelude to madness. Draw one page, inflict one bleed to two random enemies, reduce the power, and inflict bleed. Imp impesto. On Clash win, if the opponent has bleed, destroy all of the opponent's offensive die. College. If the user has bleed, restore one light. On hit, if target has bleed, seal a speed die of the target for the next scene. Morta. Unaffected by outspoken creativity, so I can't roll twice. On use, all dice on this page gain 45 power at a 25% chance for each stack of Pikmin's choice on the target. Up to 99% at four stacks. So, what? It's like 20... 22% chance per stack? Maybe like 18%? I don't know the exact math. Uh, purge all stacks of Pikmin's Choice from target upon activation. So it does a just buttload of damage. If... It's going after someone with a lot of Pikmin's choice. All right. Oh, boy. This is a lot of health to get through. But we're certainly going to see how it goes. Is this Jin's theme? This is Jin's theme. I absolutely cannot. Yeah, nah, nah. Can't play that one. Jin's theme is, uh... Pretty sure that's a big no-no. Um, wow, this is going absolutely amazingly. Literally already dead. Wow, it'd help if we won, like, a single clash at all. That would be... That'd be nice. You know, if we could just win, like, a single clash. Uh, Morta is absolutely going to do damage to us. There's, like, not a lot we can do about that. So... I guess let's just try and do as much damage as we can to him.
This was such a fun mod. <laughs> like, I gotta be honest, um, the third was absolutely the most BS. I think the third was way overtuned, which also says that our HOD floor is probably really overtuned, but yeah, yeah, yeah. regardless, regard we'll just ignore that. Um, this was a really fun mod. Even the final part right here. Um, I think we could have done it legit. Like, you might have been able to do that with just base game stuff. However, I've been recording for a while, just doing attempts on this uh, mod. So, you know, <laughs> figured it. I didn't want to bring out the big, big guns. Um, but I definitely think the general, the general floor might be a little bit. All of our floors are pretty strong, but regardless, we managed to get through it, and we only lost a few people. What did we just deal with? That guy had to be the craziest. He was really creepy. Speaking of which, is this really what Elcorp wanted? That's what Ego looks like, but the way he looked a while back, he was a monster no matter how you viewed it. Even more so compared to the distortions. It has its own purpose, but if the ego is not form, firm and distorted, it is a distortion that creates a, a tragedy. Ego, a completely insane and hideous human being, but somehow self-contained and expressed. This is a result of all that crap. This. His intentions were good on the surface, but in the end, the results were messed up. It only led to more and more people suffering. Whatever intentions were, this is a result. I don't know how to take responsibility for that. That's right. Was the time of my suffering meaningless? I don't think so, but... Ugh, I have a lot on my mind. Angela headed back first. And... You wouldn't be free from that responsibility. Oh no, he, go, he gonna attack the Angela. Whoa! <laughs> well, with that being said, I believe that is going to do it for this episode of the Library of Ruina. As I suspected, this was absolutely going to take an entire episode. <laughs> but, that was pretty fun. Um, rather enjoyable. Obviously, we did bring out the big guns uh, twice, but that's fine. That's kind of how it goes with modded runa sometimes you get beat into the dirt and sometimes you bring out the dirt to beat into the beat <laughs> that made no sense anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one i think we're gonna catch up on some more of our invitation mods rather than the general receptions or the really big mods um i have a couple in mind such as the new she uh, there is one for Zway that I would like to do. So, there's a couple. But, if there's any you want to see prioritized, be sure and let me know down in the comments below. And, hopefully, I will be able to read it and get to it before I get to my own little ideas. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!